I had never in my life seen so many police cars. I better not ever hear anybody complain about not having enough police in this town because we had more than enough out here last night. Multiple law enforcement agencies lined the southeast Austin neighborhood as an Austin police officer called out he had been shot. This was a very chaotic scene and uh, turned out to uh, require quite a bit of resources. A concerned resident called for police to check on his neighbor. Police showed up two hours later. At this point, it was dark outside. This individual had not been seen for uh, several months and there was concern uh, for the person's safety. Neighbors say he doesn't leave his home. The only time they've seen him outside is to take the trash out about every other month. APD officers knocked on the door of the neighbor last night. No answer. Within a few moments, officers determined that they were going to make forced entry. Within seconds, uh, they were confronted by a resident who approached them with a firearm. The shootout began. This video shows an APD officer shooting at the suspect. One bullet flew through the window of this neighbor's home. If it hadn't been a stone house, we would have been shot by the police. Another video clip shows the suspect came out of his home with a shotgun and fired several rounds in the neighborhood. One bullet went through this window and into the children's playroom in the neighbor's home. I was scared to death. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, I mean, we knew there was somebody shooting in our house. And this neighbor says the injured officer took cover in his garage. And I, they apparently thought that we were somehow involved. But and I just kept telling them, no, it's the guy in that house. It's that house. He says APD detained he and his wife for hours. And during that time, their front door was blown to pieces. So what remains are boarded up doors, torn down fences, and bullet holes scattered in the neighborhood.